Hello, hello again. It's Robert Burns with Robert Burns Second Photography or Win on Your Wedding Day. So if you're watching this video, this probably goes in tandem with the like what are some of the best locations to do your um, your photo sh your engagement photo shoot in like Charlotte or wherever you are. Um, these are like two questions that I always get is like where should we do the photo shoot and what should we wear? So today in this video we're going to talk about what should you wear and we're going to look at both um, guys and gals type of outfit suggestions and specifically we're going to actually look at some of the pictures within my portfolio within the client galleries so you can see firsthand what looks good on guys and girls um, in these engagement sessions. So without further ado, we're just gonna jump right in. So <clears throat> typically, when you're trying to decide what to wear, you wanna look at uh, basically the formality of like your vibe that you're going for and the location that you're gonna be at. Because I could just tell you blanket suggestions on what to wear, but if it doesn't fit the vibe, if it doesn't match the aesthetic, if it doesn't match your location, and if you two don't match each other in terms of formality, it could look really weird. So as we bring over this other screen, we'll just start to look through some of these galleries that I have here. Um, I've done some in downtown, uh, in some engagement sessions in downtown Greenwood, uh, South Carolina. I've done them in Greenville, South Carolina. I've done them in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. And so we'll look at some of these in variety and depends on where you're gonna be. Like this particular session for Shaniqua and Varen was done at Midtown Park. It's an outdoor park in the heart of Charlotte. You can see the, um, the buildings in the background, specifically the Charlotte skyline, but there's also, as you see here, some greenery. So, you know, something kind of mid-level formality, maybe like a polo and a dress could work. Here, uh, this is another park setting, but this was for Cynthia and Jake. And this was done at Jetton Park, which is uh, near Lake Norman in Cornelius, North Carolina. And it's set basically on the water, again, at the lake. Uh, and they've got this like this gazebo here. Um, and it's like a, it's a, it's a true park. They've got the water, but she chose for a long red dress. And he actually chose, you'll see later, but for a long sleeve, like a teal colored dress shirt with some jeans and a pair of um, like uh, closed toed shoes, like dress shoes. Um, actually, I think they were more like, uh, like casual shoes. So he kind of went slightly casual, even though he had a long sleeve shirt on. So uh, that worked for them you may choose to do the exact same location a different way but as long as you two match in formality that will also help so we'll jump in a little bit deeper now so let's look at this engagement session right here that i did for liliana and kevin she goes by lily so when you look at their session what did they wear we did this engagement session for them in romero bearden park which is in the um in basically in the heart of the city when you when you start looking at this location you're talking about a few blocks from actually being in the heart of downtown and it rained on their session so that's also something to consider what would you do if it rains on the day you you know you have your engagement session some people are like well i don't want it to rain so if it's going to rain i don't want to do it and some people are like, well, if it rains, we're just gonna go through with it. We got busy schedules. We just wanna do it no matter what. And we'll just bring an umbrella. In this case, they didn't bring an umbrella. But in this case, I did because I've been doing this for a long time. So I knew, hey, it could always rain. So I just left one in the car. They didn't plan their outfits on that it would rain, but their outfits didn't get, you know, demolished either and they're the type of people they just went with it so if you're not that type of person that's okay i can already see some people like oh i don't like that i don't like that i ain't feeling that okay cool well what we would do for you is we would just plan your engagement session for one day and then we would have a secondary rain date so no matter what and we do this from the beginning so if it rains on this day we just do a different day but you're going to want to plan in advance for that so as far as the outfits though, let's look at what Lily and Kevin wore. Lily wore this outfit right here. Now, keep in mind, 
I am not very good with the names of outfits or knowing where the brands and stuff like that. But what I can tell you is what we see here. I could tell you whether this worked or not for her. If it hadn't have rained, it probably would have even been better for her. But she seemed very good with this. They loved this image. Um, and they printed several from this from this particular shoot. Look at what Kevin wore. He has on this, this um, like this zip it's like a we call it a quarter zip sweater because it zips down a quarter of the way and then we've got he's just wearing jeans a pair of jeans with these uh canvas sneakers like chucks basically so that's what he wore and he was very comfortable one of the things that you'll hear me preach and stress is being comfortable in your own skin making it work for you like this seemed to work for them because they seemed to feel very comfortable in what they were wearing like this was them so this wasn't me telling them hey Kevin you need to wear this quarter zip sweater make sure it's blue and Lily make sure you wear this kind of this pattern floral um, spring spring thing like like I didn't tell them that so I could tell them that but I would prefer not to because I'd rather them be them like if I go tell them go get this and they get the wrong size they've never worn it before they're gonna be looking around like uh, it's gonna be looking all awkward instead it doesn't look awkward so Lily and Kevin was a good example let's look at another one we've got Melinda and Dana I did their session uh, earlier this spring and look at what look at what they chose to wear um, they actually kind of coordinated in terms of outfits and colors color schemes and yes, their outfits did coordinate, but you can see here um, what what Melinda wore was basically like a V-shaped uh, sort of long flowy dress and it's floral patterned. So it's got this big floral pattern, but in there there's purple. Well, in that purple, she pulled out that purple and, and represented that in Dana's shirt, his long dress shirt. And you know it's a slightly older couple so for them this really makes sense now in the beginning what else we could do he wore a blue blazer this blue blazer over top of the purple um, dress shirt fit him and it also added a degree of formality to it so on the bottom let's see what he wore he wore jeans so these two I happen to know them she they're both dancers so they do shag they do a few other dances and with these jeans that he wore he also increased the degree of formality by bringing on some brown dress shoes right so that's what he did to make this outfit um, work for him so you've got the brown the brown dress shoes with the brown dress belt he has a, he has a purple dress shirt and he's got these blue jeans these jeans kind of keep it semi-casual, but then the blue blazer that he put on top of it add to that degree of formality. The, that jacket, the interchangeable jacket that you can put on or take off, it kind of gives some variety. So like with us, with them doing that, we were able to do this shot right here, which is more casual in the ice cream parlor, because that's where they chose. They chose Jenny's ice cream. And if you haven't seen it, I've got more detail on my YouTube and on my blog about this particular session. But they chose um, they chose South End, historic, like like South End um, Charlotte, which is a neighborhood. Um, it's kind of like very hip. Everybody's there. Lots of restaurants, and there's usually some people in the background, as you can see here, which we're very much okay with. We shot right on the corner um, in, in in South End, and you know, by having that blue blazer, he was able to have that formal look that he was going for, but then to remove it later on, very, actually very quickly. So we did it for a few shots, he took it off, and then they started dancing in front of Jenny's ice cream, because that's what they were looking to do. So he could easily take the jacket off. So a jacket may be, may be right for you. Then we were able to walk throughout South End, and he wasn't hot. Like I said, this was, um, I think this was, mid-March that we did that shoot. So mid-March in Charlotte, North Carolina, it's not hot, but if you're dancing, it might be a little warm, so he took the jacket off. So now they're walking around throughout the session and they're able to get shots like this, without a jacket, and they just feel comfortable. You can even roll the sleeves up. And then for her, let's look at her outfit. 
her outfit moves, yo. It, like, it really does. So look, look at the way that her outfit moves. It's kind of this flowy dress. Look at the heels that she's wearing. She's not wearing 20 inch heels, but she's used to moving, dancing, walking, going upstairs in heels. Um, so you're talking three and a half, maybe inches, but that's comfortable for her. You just wear what's comfortable for you. And when you've got a long flowy dress like this, unless you're dancing, you really don't need to wear heels. But again, the heels work for her. Wear what works for you. Wear what's comfortable for you. So if you're comfortable in two inch heels or no inch heels, <laughs> then wear that. Do you. And I'm very, like I said, I'm very, very much an advocate of that. So let's go into another example. Let's look at some more stuff that work. Let's look at Cynthia and Jake. So Cynthia and Jake, right? Cynthia and Jake, they got married. Uh, sorry, they didn't get married yet. They're married, their wedding's coming up. But they had their engagement session at Jetton Park, which I mentioned earlier, is in Cornelius at Lake Norman. Now, let's look, let's look at what worked for them. First and foremost, what are you trying to do? If you want something that you know like it's midday, you want it to be like crystal clear um, in terms of um, it's not like a sunset shoot. These guys wanted a sunset shoot. So they were looking for their artistic sun kissed, sun pouring through the trees, sun come, coming over the shoulders, like this type of look and this type of look. So we did that for them. And with that type of look, the details in the outfit aren't always as important, like with these type of shots. So you, if you know that's all you really want, it almost doesn't matter what you're gonna wear to some degree, to some small degree. Now, of course, with the level of experience that I have, I know that they wanna see the details in the outfits. So when I am doing these photographs, I'm making sure you can see the outfit's details. So you're able to see down to the crinkles in the shirt, like, because I know that's what they're looking for. And something like this will show off very, very um, well what they're wearing. So let's look at it. So Jake has on this, again, you see this quarter zip um, sweater. It's like a pullover, it's what it is. It's deep hunter green. And it definitely fits his vibe, you know, kind of his background, where he's from, and all those things. I think, he's, I think he's from Indiana, so this definitely works for his vibe, his aesthetic. And then again, you've got the, the blue jeans. The blue jeans going with these quarter zip sweaters. It's pretty much a very similar outfit to what Kevin wore, and that worked for both of these guys. Then you see here these brown dress, these brown um, closed toed shoes. They're not technically. They're not technically dress shoes, but if you were to go ahead, like these leather hard bottoms, that's what you would typically wear. Something that is, uh, we, we can call them so many different names, um, and they, they have specifics, but if you get these brown like dress shoes, this will work out very well for most guys. If they don't know what to do, mimic this outfit, right? Um, you can also interchange with these blue jeans for some khakis. You can also interchange these um, and when I say khakis, I mean specifically the color khaki, like that light tan. However, with we call them chinos. So if they're looking on some dress, um, if they're looking on some sites like um, like Dapper.com, uh, like a Dapper Man, or if they're looking for like something like on the Effortless Gent, EffortlessGent.com, they might look for something called chinos. C H I N O S. They'll be sold in stores like Target as khakis they're khakis 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 and they'll come in a variety of colors but if you look for the actual word chino they come in a variety of colors and that's what they're known as so again jeans uh, chino slash khakis um, all of those things would work very well interchangeably if you're like not trying to do these blue jeans also a deeper shade of the blue so the deeper blue may look a little bit more formal um, so he chose like a nice mid-tone, but again, if you go back to like uh, Kevin, he chose a slightly darker tone. Almost looks black with the ring. So just something to think about. Now, going back to Cynthia. Cynthia chose here to show off some leg. So people are like, well, what should I wear? What should I wear? Well, are you looking to highlight certain assets? Cynthia chose to show off leg because she's proud of her legs. She likes her legs, you know what I'm saying? 
you know, uh, Jake likes her legs. And we knew that we'd be at a distance, so it would definitely be flattering at work for her. So she also chose to change. That's something that we hadn't seen yet. So with Lily and Kevin's shoot, with Melinda and Dana's shoot, they did not change. As you'll see here in the photos, they did one outfit and that worked for them. I know these guys vibe and they were like, look, we just wanna, you know, we just wanna do something, you know, relatively quick. We wanna make it like an hour, hour and a half tops and like that'll, that'll, that'll be, that'll be good for us. We'll be good there. And then same with Lily and Kevin, except, cause they, they did not bring a change of clothes. Um, except it rained too. So our session got cut a little bit short also. But with Cynthia and Jake, they came prepared to do two outfits. And if you know you want to do two outfits, well, definitely try and get some variety between the first outfit and the second outfit. So what did they do? What changes did they make for that second outfit? Well, the first thing is this was like a, um, a floor length dress. I guess you call those a maxi dress. That's what this is for her. So she chose to have one that sweeps the ground and she also chose a different color. So here, now let's look at this. This was November 21st, sorry, yeah, 21st. So this is in November, so it is a fall shoot. We were going for um, pulling out that fall vibe from the, um, from, from, from the aesthetics. So we chose orangey colors. Orange and green can work together when you get tones like this, you know? So this orange and this green slightly muted, and then you got this bolder orange that kind of, you know, works very well. It would be very helpful for you to have a color wheel when you're, um, when you're planning your engagement shoot. So I'm gonna actually pull that up for you. And this is what I'm talking about. When you're actually doing this, this is like the simple version of it. The simple version of it is here. When you see this right here, you know, you look, basically, if you've never seen a color wheel, you're gonna look at this color or this color and you're gonna see what's directly aside from it. Like, on, like one side to the other. So when you see this orange and this blue, those two are complementary colors. When you see this green and this red, those two are complementary colors. But when you're looking here, you also want to go around and you'll see like this blue, right? This blue, this true blue, what's next to it and what's next to it. These two, like these blues and these pinks can go well together. Or these yellows, this yellow and this green, this yellow and this red, those can go well next to each other because those are warmer and those are warmer. Once you start to get in the blue, that starts to get cooler. So blue cools things down and reds and oranges warm things up. And when you see this orange and this green, those can work together. And there's more what we call color science, but just to keep it short and simple, you definitely wanna get a color wheel and look at how you can read a color wheel. And also if you're female, you, you may have some some advanced color skills that I don't know about. But this is what the guys should definitely be doing, okay? And if you need a chart on how to read it, this right here will teach you. There's plenty more stuff on Google. You can even watch a YouTube video on color wheels. But for now, going back to this, you see these colors do work together and that's something to pay attention to. And then here, these colors do work together. Going back here again, Reds and the blues, like I mentioned, reds and blues, okay? So color wheel is the way to go. Here, they chose red for her, and they chose like this almost tealish blue for him. So that was their second outfit. And you can see here, she's got like the, the deep V, kind of highlights certain assets, you know, and it's fitted. Now let's talk about something with the fit, right? So you really want to pay attention to fit um, because if you're used to wearing clothes that really fit well, that will be to your benefit. Um, sometimes though, it is possible to wear clothes that fit a little too well. And if you're uncomfortable, or even if you're not uncomfortable, but um, maybe your assets are, are showing a certain way, um, you'd wanna be careful with that. So it's a, it's, it, there's a sliding scale. But again, just talking generally here, not talking about anybody in particular, um, not about this shoe, just, just came to mind. You just wanna be careful with 
clothes that fit way too well or clothes that are way too baggy. So you want to kind of have that in-between spot that does photograph the best for you. Um, and then, you know, you want to definitely wear your clothes once or twice at least before you wear them on a photo shoot. Your, your best bet for, 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 for photo shoots would be to wear clothes that you wear a good amount of the time that you feel very comfortable in. Shoes that you've already broken in, jeans that maybe already have a little bit of wear to them, or pants that you, you know, you've worn a couple times maybe to work. Um, just stuff that is already comfortable for you. So moving on, let's look at Tara and Eric's engagement session. Now this session I did in the mountains. Um, I did at Jump Off Rock, which is in um, close to Hendersonville, maybe like 10, 15 minutes away from Hendersonville. And this was a different session. So this was like not in the city. This was something that we did in the mountains. We we're going for the mountain scenery. This was in the fall. I believe this was um, maybe two years ago in the fall. And um, we let's look at what they wore, right? So. Couple things to think in mind. Keep in mind. Number one, it's the mountains. Number two, it's a little chilly. Even in the summer, going up to the mountains is, can be a little chilly. So that's why they wore jackets. It kind of makes sense here. Now let's look at what she wore. She actually changed uh, outfits um, just a little bit. I think she changed from like this jacket, which is like a patterned kind of. Um, I used to know the name of this pattern, but I can't remember. Alarm is going off here. It's supposed to water my plants. I'll do that a little bit later on. So, this, she wore this patterned um, jacket, but here she also switched over to the black leather jacket. And leather made a lot of sense because it's, like I said, it's a little chilly. Leather will stop a chill in its tracks. He wore this, what we call um, a Harrington jacket. You can tell this because of the way the collar does this thing, it like comes up and just comes down with these little two buttons. That's a classic um, Harrington jacket. And this maroon color looks amazing, especially at the fall time when they did this session. So this worked out for them. Look at how comfortable they were, you know, with this session. Look at how he's sitting here making her laugh, you know. Um, look at this. Like, this is how well this can photograph. Um, like. Definitely, they're so comfortable they can even run and jump and move. He's got these blue jeans on. I think they're very actually dark. Hers are blue, Her, his is like really dark, but they've got the canvas sneakers on him. And she's got these like these booties. Um, not much of a hill, heel, sorry, heel. They're running down the hill. <laughs> um, and then he's got this white pattern shirt on, very kind of simple. And he basically kept his jacket closed for most of it, because again, because it's kind of chilly. But this definitely worked for them. This was the first jacket she wore. And you see we got some sunset here. So this definitely worked out for them. And that's an example of things you could wear too. They have more of a casual, kind of a streetwear vibe, at least for him. And, you know, th they didn't really go like the flowery route. You don't see her in a dress. Number one, because it's November in, in the mountains. But number two, just because that wasn't the aesthetic that they were going for. They were going for something a little more, more cash. You know, I, I say casual as cash. That's what I say. So that was Tara and Eric, right? Now, let's look at Molly and Nick. This session was done in Apex, North Carolina, um, and I shot their wedding also. These guys are super low key, super chill. They are, you know, these are personal friends of mine. These guys are kind of cornballs, man. I love them. Like, they'll tell you, like, they like, they're the type to like, get dressed up and like, go to like, Comic-Con. They literally make outfits. Like, these guys are so freaking fun. Um, so I say cornballs is a term of endearment because I'm a cornball too, although I don't have the whole making uh, outfits thing, but Miss Molly can make me an outfit anytime because her skills is on super, like super fleet. But what did they wear for their engagement session? Um, let's look. So Nick chose to wear a green, like a slightly muted green, like lighter than lime um, and more muted than lime. Um, this would say, I would say this might be like a, um, 
Hmm. How would you? See, guys are really bad at describing colors. All I can do is just tell you what I just told you, but it's light. Light and, and, and not saturated. The more saturated it is, the more bold it is. But it does pull out elements of this green in Molly's dress. So I think she had her hand up in this outfit. She had to. She chose to wear this this um this like this long, I guess, maxi dress with the and I don't think it's technically a maxi one, but this one, I'm sure you guys know the names better than I do. But she's got these lemons here. All it's like a lemon printed printed dress. And it, that green that he's wearing pulls out the green in these lemon, um, like the, the leaves on the lemons. So this definitely worked for them. This, this, this was done before. Let's look at how it was done. Melinda and Dana. Okay, are we taking notes here, yo? Are we, are we taking notes? Because look at, look at how this worked. You see these same, these same um, trends coming back. So they, they, they definitely followed some game here. Also, another thing to note. See this sweater? This sweater again pulls out that green. So these are these are definitely little things to kind of kind of pay attention to. Look at how these outfits photograph, and look at the fit. This out this dress definitely fits her very well, and then it kind of comes out from her. Um, it almost looks like an A-line dress to me, you know, at least the way the bridal dresses go. And then this definitely fits him as well so he's got the long sleeve green shirt very light very muted these blue jeans right that fit him but not too too well they fit him well but not too well not too tight you know nothing's bulging unnaturally or nothing like that and look at how well they photograph from the front right he's got this black he actually wore a black um black belt or it might be super dark brown but it looks it appears black in pictures and they were able to move he wore black shoes too so I'm pretty sure it's black so typically I advise guys if you're gonna wear jeans um, you're gonna want you know for something as casual as these guys you know you're gonna want to wear like a dark brown uh, on the belt and the and the shoes he just happened to cho choose black Black is a little overly formal, so you know if I had if I had to advise them again, I'd probably say, hey, you might want to wear brown. But I didn't advise them for this shoot, and they did just fine. But yeah, typically guys, you want to wear dark brown. And for um, for this, I mean, especially as casual as they are, it, down, brown will probably work. But look at these, like this is this is them. This is how much fun you can have on your engagement shoot when you choose somebody like me for your. Um, you know for your photographer these guys are so silly though this is what they this is their life this is you know they like to dance like i see we get the dancers you know melinda and dana you know molly and nick these guys want to do piggyback rides they want to jump on swing they just want to have the greatest time so if this is what you're into then definitely um you know look at these type of outfits because these outfits can photograph well and none of this looks like uh, uptight and overly formal, right? So these these outfits can 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 work really well. So let's look at what we've been we've been seeing so far. So far we've seen guys with like jeans that fit well, maybe darker blue or mid-tone blue. We've got the closed-toed shoes, brown or even black can work. We've got long sleeve dress shirts. Um, sometimes you can roll the sleeves up. And you know, that's what we're seeing. We're not seeing overly casual. We're not seeing ripped jeans. Um, we're not seeing like t-shirts. Those might be a little too casual for something like an engagement session. We're not seeing a lot of sandals. Although, depending on where you do your session, like if you do your session at the beach and you want me to come to like Wilmington or, um, or Charleston or some Myrtle or something like that, and you guys are getting uh, engaged on the beach and you want to do that, like that makes sense. But maybe not for like the mountains or for like the park or like a nice inside of a, like a restaurant or a coffee shop. It may not make sense for that. But do you. All right, let's look at another one. We got a few more. I mean, like I said, I wanted to make sure I was, went through enough detail. So this will be a longer video just because I want to take the time to really show you what you can have for your engagement session and like how you, it, it really depends on what you want to do. So in the direction you're looking to go. 
Let's look at Shaniqua and Varen. These guys are so nice, so down there, so cool, you know? And let's look at what they got. So Varen chose for a black polo. They only wore one outfit, they didn't change. We did this actually just a few weeks ago uh, in uh, the end of, mid middle of May. Um, you know, here's a, another thing to also to look at, because I want to make sure I discuss this from as many angles as possible. You know, so far we've been looking at people with um, complexions that are fairer skin. Even Kevin right here is more of a mid-tone complexion. Um, but you choose in colors that are complementary to your skin. So this blue works for him. This green works for her, right? But, you know, the bolder the blue, the bolder the green, probably the less it's going to work for them. It might wash them out a little bit, you know? So Melinda and Dana, they chose for fairly muted colors. They didn't, chose for, they didn't choose for super bold colors. Um, the most bold thing that we have here is Dana's jacket, which is basically muting um, this purple sun. So this, and this also a very standard, every single guy in America wears a blue blazer, so it doesn't look crazy. But he, they, they, he did choose a rich tone, and that works for him. But nothing out here is like looking crazy on him. Cynthia and Jake, they didn't choose overly bold colors, although Cynthia did choose this orange that, that is still muted. It's still muted. And this red works with her skin tone. This works with her skin tone. That's why she chose it for lipstick. Nothing looks crazy there. Molly and Nick, lighter um, complexions. They chose like springy colors. But when you're, when you're this complexion, when you're just a little bit darker, right? Let's look at this complexion. You can choose any different colors you want. Um, you have more flexibility in terms of like the colors that you can wear, generally speaking, especially if your skin, um, you know, like, like darker complexion people can get away with wearing more colors. However, he did choose a black polo. So just something to keep in mind, really factor in your skin complexion and like, you know, what can work for you. So look in here what they chose. Let's look at this picture right here. Here we can see Varen chose a black polo. He chose to go out with the chain. That's a little stylization thing that maybe not everybody can pull off. He pulled it off pretty well. He got, he has a, um, a, a, a set of khaki, like these chinos I was telling you about, these khakis, those can work and he's able to move in them. And then shaniqua has got a true maxi dress on, kind of light complexion. Um, um, light colored, light hued. Um, there's some translucency here. You can see light kind of comes through it a little bit. It doesn't come all the way through it, so it's not like you can see like under the dress, but like you can see light is coming through and that can work. So if you're looking for something slightly, we call it sheer, that might work. Okay, so that way when you're moving, like this is the look that you'll have and that can look really nice. So where did we do their session? We actually did this in Midtown Park. Um, in Midtown Park, uh, which is in Midtown um, Charlotte. So if you know where that Target is, um, where the Best Buy is, um, not far from where the Melting Pot is, in what we call it a, the Metropolitan, like that shopping complex, that's like Midtown. And Midtown Park is right there. You have a nice view of downtown in the background, as you'll see right here, you know, and some of these other photos um, right here. And then you have this huge park that's right there where you can do everything in there. And there's also, um, I chose not to highlight it in this, in these pictures, so I chose to turn, but there's a huge like silver ball that's like right over here that, again, I just chose not to highlight to not to draw attention away from our beautiful couple. So, um, you've got these stairs back here. You just got, and actually one picture I did include it, and that was here, just so you could see everything. And also so I could refer to it in future videos, you know? So, you've got this, this is Midtown Park though. And you can see how beautiful these photographs as far as their outfits and like, look at the way that her slightly translucent dress works. Like it's not see-through, it's just slightly, slightly allowing some light to get through there. So. That could work really well for you. And then his black polo, I'm gonna be honest, it's pretty basic. Um, but it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't um, 
you know, it doesn't, it's not so, it's not bright and it doesn't draw attention away from what the focus or the focal point is. The focus is these two and so this outfit does exactly that. It makes it so that we can focus on these two in their moment. So moving forward, right? Let's look at Jamie and Wesley. Downtown Greenville, we did this particular engagement session. This was also a few weeks ago as well. We've had a very busy spring and we're very grateful for that, yo. Okay? So let's look at what these two wore. I think that Jamie, because I'm telling you, I know Wesley. I know he did not do a lot here as far as arranging the outfit. Miss Jamie, um, she did though. And so she is, um, she's sweet. So let's look at how they arranged it. Miss Jamie has on a full length um, maxi dress with a slit and this slit allows the dress to move a little bit. So you may want to look at a, a maxi dress with a slit and then also with that, that, that pattern, a big pattern, bold pattern. It is, um, look, actually let's, let's look at this slit though. Look how she worked in that slit. Okay. It lets her move these, these, these feet around a little bit. She's got on, I think three, maybe four inch heels and she's used to walking. Now keep in mind, she actually took these heels off and, and walked with canvas sneakers. So, to bring that second pair of, of shoes, like the canvas sneakers to walk in, you can pose with the heels and you can you can even dance a little bit with the heels, but those can come off pretty quickly. But she, you see she kept them on for all the photos, right? So like right here, she got the heels on. Right here, she got the heels on. She knows what's up. Miss Jamie did her research. She knows what's up. And then she was actually, she did take on, I forgot about that. She did take the heels off after we got these dip photos and all this other stuff. We got these fire dip photos. She's like, okay, okay, yo, the heels coming off. So that was there for all that. And then right after that, she took the heels off and had uh, Mr. Wesley go ahead and carry the heels. And I said, you know what? Why don't we do that for a picture? Why don't we have Wesley hold the heels for a picture and we'll have you two walking towards this building right here. And she loved the idea and I think they're going to print this picture. So that is things you can do. But look at how these outfits photograph and let's look at what Wesley's wearing. Wesley's got on, we call this like a, um, we call it, it's a polo obviously. Uh, it's a polo, but it's like a slightly deep Placket, placket, P L A C K E T. And why is that important? Because with a guy's polo, the plackets can can give some degree of formality or some degree of casualness to the pictures. So the deeper the placket, the more formal it can look. Um, but you also have to factor in the um, the material the shirt's out of. This particular material is, um, it's like a breathable, like linen blend. You had a very nice polo on, and this was perfectly casual. Uh, this was like mid-March, no, sorry, actually it was like early May. It was early May, so it was a little bit warmer, and um, it just worked really well for them. It worked really well for them. And there's, you know, it, it can slightly wrinkle, but I just think it adds to some charm. So when you start to add in that linen, that starts to increase the price of the shirt. And it also increases the chance that you'll see, you know, a little bit of um, wrinklage, but it works. So it's just something to, to factor in if you're a guy and, or, you know, you're shopping for a guy or, you know, telling the guy to shop, you know, look how nice this can look. And again, look at the, the trend here this floral length, uh, floral, um, floor length, floral print dress with the big flowers, the color and the flowers is represented in the shirt. Something to pay attention to. Now also here with the pants, the pants are this gray color, but they're the chino type. And also something to look at, where's the pockets on the pants? They're on the side of the pant, not directly in the front, kind of like right here they're more off to the side so it looks casual you got these black shoes so that gives some degree of formality to everything if you wore brown it would still be nice but the black works very well so i wouldn't even change anything here i think that looks awesome 
this is the direction you can go if you are very casual, like super casual, like like you don't ever get dressed up. Like all you do is like, you know, you two, you guys chill. You know, if you identify with these statements, you just, you know, you'll just um, any free time you have, you'll hang around the house. You know, this is what these two are. Rachel and Matthew, they are like laid back folk. They just have people come over, they go to people's houses. They're not getting dressed up and going to like cocktail parties. Not, that's not them. So with this being them, they were looking, they were like, hey, do you know our vibe? Do you know like how to make us come alive? Like they were a little nervous beforehand because they didn't know that photographers out there like me exist. They're like, hey, we got you. I got you. I understand you. So when they met me and they realized, wow, he does understand us. We can be ourselves. That is what worked for them. Now, in this case, let's see what they wore for their this is their actually their second outfit. But for their first outfit, like let's 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 look at this. Let's look at like what worked for them. So Rachel is a t-shirt kind of girl. She ain't into all those cocktail dresses. If I put her in those dresses, she's gonna rebel against it. She's a t-shirt person, right? She wore the jeans, okay? And then Matthew, he is like a, I'm gonna wear this dress shirt, but I'm gonna make it my own. So I'm gonna go baggy with it. And that works for him. It's his aesthetic, you know? Um, they're tattoos, you know what I'm saying? He's got on these, these brown, like these, um, it's like these golden jeans. They're like, they're like a, they're like a pair of jeans. I'm trying to look for another picture of them, but here. So like these golden jeans and he actually, they're, they're, I have to be honest, I didn't realize this till just now, but he's wearing joggers. He's thin frame though. So he's got this thin frame. So the joggers really work for him. He was adamant about these socks. And so he was like, well, I was just looking for a way that like we can incorporate the socks a little bit. I could have gotten a few more detail shots on, but I can always zoom in and get that. You know what I'm saying? But here, these socks, they're like these pizza with the alien. That's just, I guess there's some sort of thing that maybe they, those two know about. And he's got these desert, um, they call them like desert boots. Clarks makes them, C-L-A-C-R-C-L-A-R-K-S, Clarks. They're an Australian company, make great footwear for, for men. You can get these on Amazon or through Clarks for like $60, $70. So those shoes are not crazy and they're brown. So the brown pulls out the brown in the pants and then you can see these colors actually flip flop. So she's got the gold shirt on, he's got the gold pants on, she's got the blue pants and he's got the blue shirt. So that's one way you can coordinate. And that doesn't look too uh, trite or, you know, um, nothing like that. So it works for them. Color coordination is definitely something you want to, you want to look into. Now, they also did a second outfit. And the second outfit really made sense when we went down to like the pier area. Um, so here, they did something that was more just like greens and um, like they both wore green. They both like the color green. I actually love that hunter green myself. She wore shorts and no shoes and that works fine because we're at the pier, you know what I'm saying? So he kept on his long socks. He had some um, brown shorts on, like some khaki shorts almost. And then he kept his shoes on. He's not a, he's not a barefoot guy, but she is. So that's the direction they went. And she just wore some black like shorts with a little bit of breathability to it. So these things can work also. Um, and even just like doing some twirls on the beach, that can work. So we got one more to look at. Hopefully this has been helpful to you. Last one is Mackenzie and Matt. I did this one last weekend in downtown Greenwood. And this session worked really, really well. Again, I seem to get these like these laid back couples. Like that's that's my jam. So um, that's the type of person that that really works with um, my personality. So let's look at what Miss McKenzie wore. She had this um, again, the maxi dress with the kind of the large print. In this case, it wasn't floral though. It's just more of like a abstract pattern. Maybe looked like a little bit like kind of like pink splotchy. Um, and then he wore, uh, Matt wore some blue, um, they look mostly like board shorts. He wore these brown loafers. Um, we, I think they're like a horse bit loafer. Horse bit um, 
is uh, it's kind of like a penny loafer, so you could call them penny loafers, but I think the technical term for them is horse fit loafers. And then he's got a long sleeve dress shirt. Um, might be like Oxford cloth button down is what you might look for if you're a guy. And he just rolls the sleeves up. And this, this, it's actually a pretty um, nice roll. There's like a way you can roll the short, uh, roll the sleeves up. He seems to know it. He used to work in the restaurant industry. Um, actually, what, the cool thing is they actually both, he actually had worked at this place right here, which is a bar. I just cut the bar out, but um, there was a shot that actually incorporated it later on. So, you know, that's what worked for their outfits. He has, he wears his hair this way. Um, it just is their vibe. Again, people being themselves, letting them do what they want to do instead of telling them what they should do or what they need to do. If somebody asked me what to wear for an engagement session, I'd love to be able to refer them to this video so that you can understand like why certain things can work if that's your aesthetic and depending on where you are. So like for these guys, they did downtown Greenwood, um, which is a small town in USA, um, about two hours away from, actually about two and a half hours away from Charlotte. But they were looking for like these alley feel. They wanted something that was like urban. They knew that they wanted the ring shots to be kind of floral like these. But as far as like the pictures of them, they didn't want like the same old, same old, like pretty, pretty, pretty flowers and stuff like that. They, she was like, I know I'm wearing this, this kind of this, this floral dress, um, and I want like the motion shot, but like overall, I'm looking for something that's like a little different. And so I tried to kind of give them that something that was a little bit more quote unquote urbane, you know. We did do the typical like the dip shot and stuff like that. I told them I was like, hey, I got to do me, but I'm also going to do you too. And so I gave them these backgrounds of this graffiti. So when you think about that, like. Does it really make sense for him to have on like a blue blazer and like, or a tux or something like that? I know people who do engagement sessions like with tuxes and you know, like like really formal, like uh, stilettos and stuff like that. But in this case, you know, it's, it's better for people to be themselves and in my opinion. So those are some examples of things that you can wear to your engagement session. Hopefully this has been helpful. If you need more help, if you want to schedule um, your engagement session, I recommend that you go to um, contact me on my website and we'll get you right. Thanks for watching. Take care and hopefully it's been helpful.